Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created my pre-birthday luncheon look. And I'm sorry, I don't have an intro or an outro because I had to um, end up fixing the front part of uh, the wig, so the frontal part of the wig. And you're going to see it at the end that it was um, kind of sticking up. So the parts that I recorded, I didn't really like. It wasn't sticking up, but it was just giving me this color that I just don't, I don't like to see that where you can see like the lace part or whatever have you. Just not into that. So I ended up uh, doing it over, fixing it, but I didn't have time to fix, to actually record the intro and outro again. Why am I keep flipping the camera? Oh yeah, I was trying to get the camera right because like i think i told y'all in a previous video i have been trying to play with the placement of my phone and the tripod and you know, all that stuff like that but anyway so this look was pretty simple i did get my lashes done the night before so it was my first time second time first time getting eyelash extensions i went to uh lush lush extensions by alicia she was so good I, I love the way the lashes came out. I love them even better with some eye makeup because, you know, my eyelids are naturally, well, not naturally dark. They're dark when I don't get any sleep. So I was glad when I, I mean, when how this look came out and the eyelashes were just hitting. I'm just in love with them. But anyway, yeah. So it is an adjustment. I'm talking about the lashes a little bit more because I, you know, can't, can't get it as wet. Can't wash your face regular because you don't want to get them too wet and the whole sleeping on the back for 20 you know 48 hours but anyway nonetheless is that so i just showed y'all that mario palette and i like it it's a good thing to kind of set your eyelids to prepare to prepare your eyelids for the eyeshadows that you're going to place on so i did like that and i did start as i think i told you guys in my other video with applying my concealer on a before I do my foundation, I'm liking that look. So we're gonna just go with it. I use my same Becca uh, foundation and all that. So I did go to lunch. I went to Bonefish Grill and it was really nice. Like, you know, I enjoyed myself. We stayed there for about three or four hours. We were literally the only people in the restaurant besides the uh, serving team and, you know, the rest regular. The other restaurant employees so that was a bonus and it was just a really good time so i'm enjoying my pre-birthday weekend i'll call it like that because it's just just doing stuff just lunch so that was fun and just getting to dress up i'm enjoying that it's been too long so i'm hoping i'm gonna record my outfit for this evening because i am going to my pre-birthday dinner tonight so I am going to try to record that and hopefully it looks just as good as this one did. Because I think this came out really well. Um, I did have to edit a lot of this because I had to get my, I had to keep having to get up. Stuff wasn't working. I had to, I'm like, I have 50,000 eyeshadow palettes and I could not find the green that I wanted. I wanted a green to match the dress to go into my outer V area. And it wasn't, I couldn't find it. And I was like, I know I have it, but I didn't feel like looking through 50,000 eyeshadow palettes either. So you will see me cutting a lot. Well, you'll see a lot of skip parts. So I apologize for that. Um, yeah, and I did carry the setting powder down a lot further than I normally do just because I wanted it all to look like, you know, blend together and everything, especially since so much of my top part was out because my dresses off the shoulders and i applied a contour which i have not used contour anything in so long so i was like oh yeah i have that i forgot let me add some on there but then i you know i thought about it after i already did my powders which i normally don't do i also did not use you're gonna see me use a setting spray which is coming up right here i use that and it's it helps with um i like this one for sealing your makeup so it doesn't transfer onto your mask but i didn't go back in with my normal skindinavia which because i completely forgot about it right anyway so that one is really good i don't know it 
like I don't think I had any transfer onto my mask at all so that was a bonus but here we're doing eyeshadow I did my saddle I used um like I said this that green from by Mac um I don't I can't even remember the name of it and I I was like damn this is dark it doesn't even look green it's coming up blackish so I was like okay let me just blend it out because it's too harsh and then I'm gonna go into um my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and pick up a really a green that I thought would have been okay but then it's too light so power of makeup just I just I'm gonna pick up on um, a regular brush I mean a clean blending brush and just blend everything out and I think that made the color look okay it didn't look like the green that I wanted but it, I think it pulled off well so here I'm just using my trusty trusty Royal Highness by colored rain eyeshadow for the rest of my eyelid and I just absolutely love the way this color pay, came out and I enjoyed my eyes I just think it just looks beautiful so um I did I just use that same blending clean blending brush and just blend everything out I noticed I had a little mistake so I just cleaned that up with the buff I mean the blending sp I mean the sponge oh lord and then just some inner corner action I've been liking you're gonna see next I'm gonna take um my eyeshadow in credit and just dust it under my eyes because you see at first I picked up that eyeliner and I was like nope too harsh don't need all that and it's hell to get out for your eyes so I was like okay let me just do that I'm gonna put some bottom mascara on I think oh first oh first I did my lips and then I remembered I didn't do bottom mascara but I needed some so I'm gonna hit the bottom lashes um I will say this I did because I wanted to show you guys the completed look so I did put the end video where you know you just kind of showing how everything came together I'm I did put clips of that at the end so you will see how everything looks just so that you can see like the hair and makeup and everything like that and so don't bash me because of the part about the wig I already told you I know the lace needed to be laid I did that before I went out the door if you want to know if you want to see that you can just check out my Instagram divan is 28 and you can see that I got that in place. But here we go with the pictures. So you see that thing right at the top. Then I, I'm going to mess with the lighting and all that stuff like that. But yeah. See, and you don't notice it until I put my head back how it is this way. But anyway, all right. Shout out to you. You made it to the end of this video. So until my next one, bye guys. Mwah.